everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am here for the August Unplugged unboxing and I'm very excited for this one uh, because I already know what the book is and I, I am dying to read it. So let's get into it. Okay, so first thing, this is unrelated to this video, but uh, I, a lot of you guys messaged me that the code wasn't working for like the Boardwalk t-shirt thing in my last video and I wanted to let you guys know that I reached out to them and there's something wrong with their like shopping cart issue code acceptance thing. It's all good now. So if you want to get fantastic, uh, introverted anxiety inducing reader shirts, uh, it's available. The link will be in the description. <laughs> Same with Unplugged. That will also be down there. Uh, the rep codes should all be working and doing their jobs. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's take a look-see. This is, ooh, I love that artwork. Uh, come as you are is the theme, but look at that artwork. I love that. I love that. I want that to be a diamond painting. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get to the box. This is item number one. It's a box inside of the box. Let's take a look. See, it's kind of dense feeling. It's like heavy, so I have no idea what this could actually be. Can I open it? Well, I don't know. Huh. It is a jar and a bag of some sort. Okay, the bag of some sort <gasps> is coffee. It's cold brew coffee from Central Perk. <gasps> Adorable. I mean, not from Central Perk, obviously. Uh, it's from Fair Dinklum Coffee Co. And it is an unplugged exclusive. Uh, I got a cold brew coffee maker thing. It's just one of those like infuser pitchers that you can put in your fridge and it brews coffee like overnight for you. Perfect, perfect timing. Also, there's a jar in this box as well. And it looks like it's Alice in Wonderland. Look, so you can brew your cold brew and then drink it out of this. So, oh man, how do I, hold on. I'm gonna need to put something in because there's two different designs on on this. Okay, can I fit my hand in here without getting it stuck? Who knows? But this side says, oh, you can't see it. Hold on. There you go. It says, drink me. And then, oh, oh God. Okay, I'm stuck. Okay. And then this side is Alice talking to the hair. Look how cute. Okay, now that I'm officially not stuck in the jar, there was a tiny moment of panic, but we got through it. We got through it. Okay, next we have, what is this? It is a, it's from She Apothecary Products. It is a celestial facial elixir. And there is some like, there's fun stuff floating around in there. I gotta look. Okay, so we have this bottle. Uh, let's see. It is to use squeeze facial elixir on cleansing pad and wipe over face to remove impurities and tone skin. Interesting. And it's very, uh, simple ingredients. It's grapefruit and pumpkin extract, stone crop oil, moon water, comfrey leaf, lavender, and diluted isopropyl. And it's this like fun bottle. It looks like lemonade on the camera. I promise it's not lemonade. You should really not drink it. I want to smell it. Oh, it smells good. It smells very natural. And my brain is telling me it smells like lemonade. It doesn't smell like lemonade, but it's lovely. What is this inspired by? Oh, it's inspired by Black Sun. I am planning on reading that this fall. That's the plan because it says Zayala. Zayala? I don't know how. It's X-I-A-L-A. -A. I'm not sure how to say it, but it's from Black Sun, which is by Rebecca Roanhorse. Okay, next we have, oh, this is cool. Look at this bookmark. It's like clear. All that is gold does not glitter. Not all those who wander are lost. The old that is strong does not wither. Deep roots are not reached by the frost. J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to not like hide behind it, like put it in front of my face. So this is like pretty cool. It's kind of, it's like a plexiglass plastic bookmark with a little tassely tassel and this is etched into it that's very neato that's the first time i've seen a clear bookmark like that um okay we have a little spoon coffee and friends obviously this goes with the friends inspired coffee did i even say that it was friends i mean it's central perk we all know that that's friends inspired correct i would hope so but this is a spoon why does it have a can you use this to close the bag? Like you use this to scoop your coffee to put it like in your coffee maker. But if you have like a bag of coffee, is this like a chip clip for your coffee bag? Because that's brilliant. It's attached to the spoon, but it says coffee and friends right there. 
this might be the coolest thing ever and one of the most needed things I've ever uh, come across and didn't know that I needed in my kitchen because this is a constant struggle. I literally use clothespins to keep my coffee closed. That is, that's really cool. That is really cool. Oh man, the items keep coming. We've got, I'm assuming this is a chapstick, coconut and lemongrass, and this is beach read inspired. Hold on. Beach read inspired chapstick. Cool. This, look how cute that is. That's adorable packaging. It smells like coconut and lemongrass. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, it's very smooth. I mean, it's chapstick. It's chapstick. Cool. So that's obviously beach read inspired. Um, we have the pin for this month. Oh, I love this. This is Bridgerton inspired. This is so cute. It's both the hands and it says, I burn for you. I'll take it out and show you. So there it is. It says, I burn for you down her wrist. I was literally just thinking today that I kind of want to do a rewatch of Bridgerton. I'm just feeling the need to be in some fun historical period time. This is so cute. I love it. Okay. And we are down to the book and the paper goodies, which means this is a signed book plate. And then we have, ooh, look at that. That's cool. We have an author letter on the back of that. So let's get to the book because I'm so excited to see this book in person. I'm so excited for it because I'm pretty sure this is the first time they're doing an exclusive <gasps> dust jacket. This is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. Um, I am so excited to read this. This is obviously being pitched for fans of the Poppy War, which in case y'all didn't know, I am the biggest fan of RF Kuang. Um, oh, look at the back. It says, I refuse to be nothing. This is pretty nifty. So this is an exclusive dust jacket. And in case you guys were curious, this is, oh gosh, this is what the regular dust jacket is. So they just put theirs on top of it. That's much appreciated. In case you don't like one or the other, you have both options. So this is what the regular cover looks like. Yes, yes. And then this is the exclusive version. That's so fun. That's fun. I don't know which one I like more. I feel like this one is likely more fitting for the story because it's just an intense battle scene. And I'm pretty sure this is mostly battle scenes. But as far as I know, this is, I think, Chinese... Um, historically inspired fantasy, uh, which again, appeals to the Poppy War reader in me a lot. And I'm pretty sure it's brutal. It's one of like the top fantasies of the year that I am so pumped for. So I'm so excited to have it and have an author letter and an author plate to go with it. And that's very exciting to get an exclusive cover with it. That's so cool. That is really cool. Okay, so that is the August Unplugged Adult Book Box. Um, and let's see, for the next month, the, oh, September is the three year anniversary box. I've been unboxing Unplugged for three years then. Um, okay, so the young adult fiction one is called Finding Your Strength. Um, one hardcover book that's releasing in October. They got special permission to ship it early. That's exciting with an exclusive dust jacket with foiling. Seven exclusive products, our most popular box of the year. That's exciting. That's for the young adult one. And for the adult box, it's one new release book with an exclusive author letter and signed book plate and exclusive products. Um, and that theme is Rise from the Ashes. So next month, the young adult one is getting the fancy cover. Ooh, and coming soon, they're doing a limited edition horror box. That's fun. They do do a couple seasonal fun um, extra boxes each year. So that is the August Unplugged uh, adult book box. I cannot wait to start that book. It's been on my list for so long this year and now I finally have a copy that I can read. I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in my next video.